Namaste, everybody. Um, thank you so much, Nileshi, for joining me today. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about your experience um, in your work that's not related to waves. Um, so what do you do for a profession? For a profession, I'm a chemical engineer, uh, bachelor's, master's, and MBA, and uh, a lifetime salesperson. I sold plastics, I sold aircraft engines, I sold power plants. Uh, but uh, I left full-time role in uh, 2013 to spend most of my time doing research in uh, uh, related to Indian civilization. And that's what I'm so interested about. So you left that and now you are studying a little bit about the Mahabharata. So can you talk a little bit about the work that you do um, in regards to your research? Okay, I'll mention Mahabharata, but I'll also mention because Ramayan and Rugved, they are all connected. Uh, what happens in case of Mahabharata? I mean, that's a history. So is Ramayana. And uh, people, once it's a history, people want to know when that happened. We, we must, I mean, we ought to know. And uh, there are many efforts. I'm not the only one. Uh, but what I showed, so last 25 years of research, is that I took a look at all the evidence that we can test to come arrive at 5561 BC as the year of Mahabharata war. And by luck, I could also do the same thing for Ramayan as a 13th millennium BCE. And then recently on the Rugveda. So what we can say about Rugveda, for example, is that uh, all the Rugveda that we have today is not composed at one time, not at all. There is a sufficient evidence. The latest copy that we have was uh, made sometime around 6th millennium BCE, but some of the oldest mandalas go back, now watch this, and even for the uh, people who may be listening to this, more than 20,000 years ago. So that's my research and it's open. Uh, I like to uh, always put it open for criticism and I want people to come and challenge and uh, you know, take it to the next level. Absolutely, and a conference like this is the best place to do that. Um, so speaking of the conference, how has your uh, ex uh, experience been at WAVE so far? Um, and have you been able to give, uh, receive that criticism um, that you've been talking about? Okay, uh, so coming to the WAVE's uh, experience, I mean, this is my second WAVE's conference. The first one I attended in Delhi. And I'll tell you, this is uh, not just within the WAVE's, but in general, the, I attend a lot of conferences. And this is one of the best, if not the best. And you know, the credit goes, frankly, of course, uh, all the participants, but the local team. I mean, uh, Gopal Ponangiji and then um, uh, Shashi Kejriwal is like a, uh, everything, you know. And so thanks to them. And uh, as a presenters, we look great, you know. I mean, we can entertain the audience, but it is their hard work, basically, that really makes this happen. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Namasteji.